Yo yo, welcome to lesson 30. Damn, I didn't think we would get this far. Today, we're going to learn how to update our website and also upload the changes to GitHub. Before we do any coding, let's download a text editor. One of my favorite text editors is called VS Code, which is short for Visual Studio Code. It's a great tool and it has a lot of extensions that you can add to it. So feel free to click download. And if you don't want to use VS Code, feel free to use any text editor that you wish. Once you're done downloading and installing the software, feel free to open it. It will look something like this. And what you want to do is click this icon that looks like a file and then click open folder. And then what you want to do is find the folder that contains the files for your website and then click open. And just like that, all of the files are loaded into VS Code. Let's click on index.html. And here you can see the code. This is very similar to Replit, except now it's on your local computer. Let's make a simple change. I'm going to add an extra line here, and then I'm going to save the file with command S. And now I'm going to open GitHub desktop. So GitHub desktop. Once GitHub desktop opens, you're going to see right away that this new space that I created is highlighted in green. So that means GitHub was able to pick up the changes that I have made. So as a good practice, when we make changes, we want to work on a separate branch. So that way we're not editing the files in our main project directly. Rather, we'll be branching off, making our changes, and then after once our changes are ready, we will merge it back into the main branch. And this is great for working with teams because as you can imagine, each team member will be working on one portion of a feature. And once their feature is done, they'll be able to merge it in. Like I mentioned in the previous lesson, this will help us avoid stepping on each other's toes. And in addition, instead of putting work in progress stuff into the main project, we'll be doing it separately on a branch. And once everything is ready, we can just merge it and our project wouldn't look half broken. Cool. So to create a branch, all you have to do is click current branch main and in here, press new branch. So what you want to do is give it a meaningful name. So for this example, I'm just going to put redesign website and then click create branch. And here it's saying you have changes on this branch. What would you like to do with them? So what we want to do is select the second option. This option will move the changes that we have created onto the branch. So that way we're not working on the main project. So let's click this and click switch branch. Cool. So in the top, you're going to see current branch is redesign website. Cool. Now let's write some code. First things first, let's replace this with a nav bar. So let's go to bootstrap.com and then go to docs, go to components, scroll down, go to nav bar. Cool. And now let's copy one of the nav bars and now let's go back to our code. And let's paste it here and then let's comment this out and let's save it and now let's drag our website onto the browser and cool this navbar looks pretty good let's go back to our code and now i'm going to speed up the video to make some changes okay awesome now let's check github as you can see i deleted this portion of the code and i added this new navbar let's stop here and commit our changes so for the title of this commit i'm just going to put update navbar and then I'll click commit and now let's click history. Cool. So here you can see all the changes that we have made. So initially we create this initial commit with just the readme and the git attributes. Then we had one commit where we uploaded our files. And now we have this update nav bar, which is basically the changes that we just created. So as you can see, all of our changes are tracked on GitHub. And now I'm going to make some more changes and I'm going to speed up the video. Cool. So my brain isn't that creative right now, but basically I just moved some of the layout around and I removed the background color and I added some padding. So I think that this looks a bit better compared to the previous design. So now let's go back to GitHub and let's go to changes. And here, as you can see, we can see all of our changes again. So this time let's write a new message. So here let's put update content and now let's commit it and let's go to history. And here, as you can see, we see update nav bar and update content. Cool. So the next thing we want to do is go back to changes. So that means all of the changes that we have is committed to our local history. And now all we have to do is sync up our local history with our project on the cloud. So to do this, all we have to do is publish our branch. So let's click this and this basically uploads our file onto GitHub. Next, let's click create pull request. And here we get the pull request screen. So let's scroll down. And here you can see there are two commits, update navbar and update content. So both of those commits are in the same pull request. So now let's scroll down. So here you can see we added the navbar and we also updated the content of the site. Scroll up. Cool. So let's leave a description, the, the design for the website, and I'll just click create pull request. Cool. Now we have a pull request that we can share with other people to ask for feedback on our code. Uh, so it says Vincent wants to merge two commits into main from redesign website, where basically redesign website is the branch and main is the main project. So here we're saying we want to merge these changes onto the main project. Cool. And the next thing you want to do is click files change. And then look over the changes and make sure that everything looks good. 
And then what you want to do is click review changes. And here you can leave a comment. If everything looks good, you can just type LGTM, which stands for looks good to me. And then click submit review. And then all you have to do is click merge pull request and confirm merge. And now let's go back to the code. And here, as you can see, five minutes ago, we updated the content of the index.html. Cool. And now let's go to settings and go to pages. And now let's open our link. So nothing has happened yet. Give it a few minutes. Five minutes later. And cool. Now let's click refresh. And just like that, our new changes are added to the website. Cool. And just a reminder, GitHub is basically our portfolio. So feel free to upload all of the projects that we have worked on in the past onto GitHub. So this way you can keep a record of your work and you'll also be able to see how your code evolves over time. And before we end this video, I just want to do a quick recap, recapping what we just did. So first we have our main timeline. We had one commit at the beginning where we created the repository. Then we had another commit where we basically uploaded our files. And the latest changes on our project is upload website. And today we just branched off this commit and we created a new branch called redesign website. And on this branch, we created one commit, but we added the nav bar. And then after that, we created one more commit to update the content. And then finally, we took the latest changes from this branch, and then we basically merged this back into the main timeline. So now basically the latest changes on our main project is redesign website. And basically by doing this, we basically merged a whole redesign of our website as opposed to adding the nav bar changes and then adding the content changes. As you can imagine, if we did the latter, our website will look like Frankenstein, where basically it's still a work in progress. Whereas by working on a branch, we basically finished all the changes that we needed, and then we add it to our main project. And after merging the pull request, if we wanna start a new feature, we have to go back to the main branch. So click current branch, and then click main, and then click history. And now inside the history, you're gonna see that this pull request was merged. So now the new changes are on our main branch. Sometimes GitHub may not do this automatically, so you'll manually have to click Fetch Origin, which will fetch the latest changes from the main project. And every time you work on a project, you should always click this just to make sure you have all the latest changes, because sometimes when you're working in a team environment, your teammates will merge changes without you knowing, and then your project will be out of date. So please, please, please click Fetch Origin before creating a new branch just to save you from some unnecessary headaches. Cool, that's it for this lesson. I hope you learned something new. Next class, we're going to learn how to use JavaScript. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that way you won't miss out on the next lesson.